What's going on socialites? This is Now You Know. The rap community is still trying to come to grips with King Von's untimely death and now there are new details and videos being released. If you're not familiar with what happened, new security footage has been released of the November 5th shooting which took the life of King Von and two others. Now this all happened outside of a hookah lounge in downtown Atlanta with sources initially saying that off-duty police officers and an on-duty cop patrolling the nearby area were the ones who actually shot and killed Von. But there were also other stories saying that rapper Quando Rondo was the one who actually killed King Von. But that was later changed after police arrested the real shooter who was Timothy Lee, also known as Lil Tim, who just so happens to be in Quando Rondo's group. Now we all know everyone is wondering if this is gang related, it looks like it's not. However, there were stories floating around that there's a little bit of beef. But before we get into that, let's talk about this new video that was released. So in this video, you can see King Von, who's believed to be in the white shirt, walk up to Quando Rondo in the black shirt and punch him, which is what started the physical fight. And then you can see in another video, someone gets out of the car who's believed to be with Quando Rondo, Rondo and starts shooting. So no one really knows what actually started the altercation, but let's just talk about what we do know. We do know that King Von is signed to Little Dirk, while Quando Rondo is signed to NBA Youngboy. Now many are saying that it's actually King Von who had a beef with NBA Youngboy, which could have been the cause of the whole situation. A while back, King Von posted a picture of him chilling with one of NBA Youngboy's ex-girlfriends, but when those pictures were posted, King Von claimed that he was not trying to be in a relationship with her, rather they were just making music together. In fact, he did an interview which was released literally the day before he was killed to talk about him not even having a beef with Youngboy. People told me you and Youngboy was beefing or something like that. You said something about, that Yo, what happened, Bon? What's going on with you, man? They be saying that a lot. It's like we got the same issues and, and, and holes and then you know how the internet are trying to make it. Don't tell me I got problems over girls. No, it's the internet, gang. It's the, it's the you know, they try to make it like that because it's the internet, you see what I'm saying? Now, although he cleared up that beef, there was one rapper who he did actually have some beef with, and of course, it's Takashi69. I mean, let's be real, who doesn't have a beef with Takashi? But anyways, King Vong didn't mess with Takashi because he was a snitch before he went to prison and is still considered a snitch to the streets and the rap community. But after King Vong died, so many people sent out their condolences on social media, and Takashi did what he does best and decided to troll everybody about King Vong in the comments. Academics posted an Instagram video of Little Dirk on Instagram Live, which is where he allegedly found out for the first time that King Von was shot. His caption said, hashtag Little Dirk allegedly found out that hashtag King Von had been shot while on IG Live. Pray for all of Von's family and friends. Takashi, of course, he wanted to be a troll, so he put the laughing emoji. But that's not the only trolling comment. Before Little Dirk erased his Instagram, he even posted a picture of Von with a caption saying, my twin is gone. I love you, baby bro. Takashi 6 ix response to that was, Nooski's gone. Now Von and you still rapping go pick up a gun and he ended it with the laughing face emoji like boy if you don't go somewhere and sit down and sew on your new wig Nooski is Little Dirk's cousin who was killed just days after he allegedly signed a new record deal now we're not sure if 6 9 was doing this to troll which he probably was but he went to the site that Nooski was killed and decided to put down some flowers and of course in Takashi fashion he posted it on Instagram baby Vaughn was not feeling that and hopped on Instagram live to tell Takashi 6 9s fans not to fall for the mess that he was doing. That shit was 6 9 that shit ain't cool. I don't know, they got this man running around, it's funny and shit, it's funny. Yeah, that shit funny as shit, that shit ain't funny, gang. This man, cause it's like this. I don't know the shit, gang, I don't give no fuck about the shit, man. I don't know. But he told them all type of people, gang, and they, they people locked up and shit, and, and, and his people, family members and shit. And people gotta take care of them people, and them people got kids, and them people, you know? You know, it's like he done told him, I have to hear he told him a lot of people like so. I know it's people like he probably ain't did shit. Now you know who else is catching a little bit of heat? King Von's girlfriend, Asian Doll, who also went by Asian the Brat. Now check this out. Von's manager, Track, who also was one of the people who was shot, went to Instagram to post a story and a subliminal message to all of the people who say they knew Von and that were there when the shooting happened. He said, let one more person from the outside that's close to Von keep up with all this goofy stuff. I promise I'm gonna expose all that goofy stuff because I was there and got shot behind all of this. Y'all can stop blaming people y'all don't even know what happened. 
happened or who was involved. Y'all see one camera angle and think y'all figured it out. That goes for ex-girlfriends, families, or whoever. Child, he was not playing when he mentioned girlfriends and ex-girlfriend, and I guess Asian Doll didn't catch the memo. So check this out. Sis was not there, but she had a whole lot to say about his alleged final words. So according to her since deleted tweet, she said, Vaughn's last words, y'all let them get up on me. Stop crying, y'all let them get me. Y'all left my boy when he was unarmed and he wouldn't hop down for them and spit again and again and again. Crazy. I knew my boy's heart and loyalty wasn't deserved. He okay though. Baby, that statement didn't last on the internet for all of two seconds because Vaughn's former manager did an interview where he called Asian Doll out like he promised he would do and let's just say with the utmost respect, but saying that she was not there, which of course we already knew, but shared that Asian Doll told him Vaughn's last words came to her from a spiritual advisor. That is completely false. First of all, um, no disrespect to, to Asian Doll. And we, we spoke this morning because I seen some of the tweets and some of the stuff and I reached out to her. I'm like, hey, bro, I, don't know, I know you mourning and you hurt like everybody else, but you need to slow down because one, you wasn't there. So how can you make assumption and accuse guys of doing this and that? And the the um, last words that she's talking about and it's in a text message and I can show you, She's talking about, she's talking to Vaughn through her spiritual advisor from after death. Wait, Vaughn, wait, 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 wait. So this, this is what she tweeted. She tweeted, Vaughn's last word was, y'all let them get up on me. Stop crying. Y'all let them get me. As if Vaughn was talking to his homie uh, saying. Hold on, I'm going to show you right now. I, I, I got it right here. Bro. This is. It say Asian doll, right? Yeah. On the, it's clear. Yeah. Her text message clearly. Yeah. Oh, um, I talked to Vaughn on a spiritual level with a spirit reader, and he's letting shit be known. He's talking for sure, and he feel y'all shouldn't let him get it. Get he she, he feel y'all shouldn't let them get him. Facts. So you talking to the dead now, Asian doll? So Vaughn on the afterlife is telling Asian doll these facts, guys. The same tweet you guys seen, oh, he called, y'all let the guys get me, get all the old block chains. Hey, hey, let me ask you, let, let, it, From the afterlife, with a spiritual reader. And I, I, I don't know if you've seen the messages, I'm no, not seen, making it. No, no, no. I, I, Ironically, she's not the only one who allegedly heard from Vaughn from the grave. NLE Choppa also said while he was meditating in his home that he heard some things which led him to believe that it was a spirit of Vaughn. He tweeted, on everything, Vaughn visited me last night in meditation. I was calling his name while I was doing it. Then my computer suddenly came on, lit up my room, and then it finally cut off. I started to hear my dog move around the room too. What's crazy though is how he woke me up. When I finally got up to go to my attic, the door was wide open open and the studio next to a door was closed. This just lets you know physically he ain't here, but in spirit he is. I was in tears before I prayed and meditated on it and bro came and visited me. On God, I can't make this up. Bro, I'm the only one in the house and Kingston is in the cage. On my daughter this morning, it was footsteps above me in the attic and knocking as if he was knocking on the floor above me. Once I woke up, it continued. I looked outside my window and everything thinking like I'm tripping. Socialites, we know this was a whole lot for y'all to unpack, but what do y'all think about this whole situation? Let us know in the comment sections below. Don't forget to like and subscribe and make sure you turn your post notifications on so you never miss another video. Now you know what's been trending.